Hey people, so I am taking a break from EVE and I thought I would share some of the methods I use on my trading alts. Uh, this is not a main trader, well the character is mostly made for trading and industry but I don't spend a lot of time on it. The reason I like it as an alt is because I can log in for about an hour a day and that's about it. Um, and yeah. Anyhow, I am going to share some of the stuff I'm doing uh, on this trader and hope someone else finds it useful. Um, most of this is for reprocessing. I'm going to do that later in the video or show what I do by that. Right now I'm just going to show some of the items that I trade regularly. Uh, as a trader you usually look for items to trade constantly, or a lot at least. Um, which I do, and then I have these items which I trade very often, if not all the time. Anyhow, first one is Barrett L, it's like two ammo for large projectile weapons. Uh, it moves fairly well, it moves in waves because people buy a big chunk for their missioning or whatever. Anyhow, uh, as you can see, the buy is 281.5, the sell is 309.9, that's about a 10% profit, and as I said, it moves fairly well, the price fluctuates, fluctuates very little, and rarely goes below 305 or so, so and sometimes up to 375, so the profit can be a lot higher. Um, these J5 prototype warp disruptor and J5 J5B uh, are both items a lot of people use for PvP, that means a lot can be lost and that's why I started trading them to begin with. J5 prototype white warp disruptor does not have that big of a profit margin at the moment, it has, well, percentage wise it's kind of big but I don't like trading uh, items with this low volume. Uh, well, it's not low per se but the profit is only about 4000 so Still, it can be really nice and it moves quite well. The J5B has a bit higher profit margin and it also moves just about the same as J5. That's why I call the margin on the J5 low because over here we've got a profit margin of 60. No, not 60, sorry, 33,000. About 33, 34, um, which is over 50% and they also move fairly well, so that can be really profitable. These ones are not as good as they used to be, but you still got a couple hundred thousand apiece, so if you got the money to buy a lot of them, they can be very worth it. The price fluctuates very little, actually I've not seen real change since I started trading these a month or two ago. Um, so yeah, a couple hundred thousand profit margin, they move fairly well. Um, that's just about all there is to say about that. Medium unstable power fluctuator again about 400,000 a piece, so that's more than 10%, uh, which is really nice on such an expensive item. They move slower and there's a lot of competition, so I don't really like these, but it's nice to have it on the side. Um, Sister's Corporal Blanche, this is one of my absolute favorites, and I'll tell you why. Um, right now, it's sitting at above 45, I've seen up to 52, and it fluctuates a bit but it rarely goes below 34 or so. Now the cool thing about these are, as you can see, there's a buy order of 42 million, that means you got 2.5 million profit and then goes to taxes and stuff like that, but the place that everyone buys these near Gita is in Osman. That is six jumps away, which means you gotta go all the way down here and you can make a buy order for 39 million, 350,000 and then add one is get then and you will get all of those sold at Osman. You can easily get 10, 20 of these in a day if you keep your order on top here. That means that you have instantly made about 3 million profit just by buying them because you can sell to sell orders and if you sell in the market it's a lot more. I've had up to 12 million profit a piece on these things because of this. So yeah, just make a buy order uh, and set it to 10 jumps or go to Osman and set a buy order there. But if you set 10 jumps here you'll risk getting on other stations um, in the region which is very nice because that kind of expands your market and they're, even if they're in low sec you can just grab a quick frigate because they're 10 cubic meters a piece or something. Warp core stabilizers. The profit margin on this have been butchered. They used to be 22,000, and this asshole came in and ruined that. Uh, but still, 
also manufacturing this is very profitable I think there are 17 to 19 thousand pieces of manufacture and they move very well I've been able to sell upwards of 3,000 in a single day without having to tend my market orders too much as you can see spikes of more but generally up to 4,000 a day um, and they just move everyone well not everyone but a lot of people use them and a lot of people lose them so yeah that's generally what I'm looking for when you're looking for market orders. X5, that is the same uh, deal as the J5 up here. J5B, uh, a lot of people use them for PvP, a lot of people lose them. Uh, you also get all of these from missioners, so you can buy quite a lot of them. Uh, the margin on these are not, is not too big, but it's there, and they move rather fast, you can easily sell five six hundred of these and they without too much work on your order so yeah um, that is all I have for actual items I'm monitoring most of the other stuff I've been trading have been spurred at the moment because something has happened on the market or yeah there are probably most likely a lot more but yeah oh another thing quick note when making buy orders for things you want, like I have on the medium f uh, unstable power fluctuator here, I tend to make them solar system wide because, okay, this is gonna look like a mess. Anyhow, a lot of people mistake the stations. Like, we want to be at Moon Fork Caldera assembly plant, but some people go to Moon Fork Caldera business tribunal and sell stuff over there instead. So you can get, for example, I've gotten two of these at that station even though my buy order is way outdated and 400,000 below market I've gotten more there because I'm the only one that covers solar system except this guy has apparently caught up but yeah um, you will not get a lot of extra profit from this but you can get some extra especially if your order is outdated then it's literally getting nothing from not doing the solar system towards getting something sometimes and it's not a lot of work flying around stations it sucks a bit more if you put plus one jump then you got about five systems or something that you can buy from and that's just annoying unless you want to spend a lot of time um yeah that's about it. I'm not going to tell you that I make this and this amount of money because it'll fluctuate with the market and on the user and stuff like that. I just wanted to give you the tips on what I do. Now I'm going to move on to the second part which is reprocessing which I will explain during that video. Well, doing that part of the video. Anyhow. Also reprocess a lot. Um, well by a lot I mean once per day because as a trader you don't really have much online time on that character um, and this batch is about what I got in 24 hours I think I yeah last I emptied my hanger of stuff was about 9 eve time last evening so a bit under 24 hours uh, but my ship was full so I might as well go basically what this is is that I buy things for ridiculously low amounts of money uh, as in lower than the amount of money they can be reprocessed for and the things you can find that are usually at this price are things that people don't want which are meta 1 to 4 or one, meta 1 to 3 uh, most of it is named stuff uh, as an induced signal distortion amplifier instead of instead instead of signal distortion amplifier one um, that simply have no real advantage compared to the amount that is dumped into the market by missioners and so on that is usually what you get them from which also means you get them in waves instead of constantly but yeah whatever now let's just I'll just demonstrate one item quickly. Um, let's take our captain sensor here. Now one of these I am buying at 5,900 isk, and if I reprocess this, I will get 9,700 isk instead from um, the minerals. So if I take all of this, which is Appraised at 25 million 800 thousand, 
I will get 37 million, so that's an instant profit of about 12 million or roughly 50%. I have some items with about 20% profits and I have some items with several hundred percent profit. It varies a lot. Uh, but if you go back in the video and look at the items I was trading, all of these are items that are profitable when reprocessing even if you have no skills into it. I've been doing this since before I got the uh, scrap rental reprocessing and um, it's not a huge extra, it's, it's as I said about 10 to 15 million per day extra but it's free money basically you just gotta fly from your DTF4 station to wherever you can reprocess if you got Caldera Navy um, reputation up then you don't even need to leave the station then you just need to mark the stuff reprocess and sell the minerals and done you made 10 million that day um, so yeah that is about it for this part and I'll move on okay to so I will be uh, finishing off with just discussing the quick skills that you need to make a character equivalent to this well not equivalent to this but able to do the same uh, you will need some type of transport ship if you want to do the reprocessing part or want to get large quantities of items from other places even though I don't really do that um, but yeah if you're doing the reprocessing and don't have Caldera Navy uh, standing then you will need a cargo ship which doesn't take a lot of time just need level 3 or 4 in uh, industrial of any kind now the trading skills I have a lot of these um, and they are not all needed. Most of them are for increased uh, amount of tr market orders. I believe I have 53 or something with these two skills. Um, these, like broker relations and margin trading, are essential in my opinion because they reduce the cost of selling stuff, which increases your profit. And margin trading makes you able to put a lot more orders than you can afford. Now even though I can afford, I got, I don't what, I only got 1.5 billion left in this account. Anyhow, uh, as you can see I have buy orders equaling 810 million but I have only paid 155 million to the market. I will only pay the rest when I fulfill those orders. So until that I have a lot of money to use uh, which means that I could make 2 or 3 billion worth of buy orders and just sell as I get stuff and I'll be able to do that. Um, so margin trading is fantastic. And in regards to broker relation I believe there's one more I'm not sure. Uh, on the tax thing you really want that because you lose money that and that's no fun. This one is not important, I trained that because I wanted to do planetary industry stuff and that wasn't worth it and it was boring and I just didn't want to. Um, yeah, you can read what the skill does. Oh yeah, that's the second one. Uh, reduces tax by 10% per level, so I got a 40% reduction. Um, but yeah. If you want to really do something about trading, you need these like retail and trade uh, because you want a lot of orders up, not just one order. You want a lot of little ones so you can keep selling stuff instead of waiting days for one to fulfill. Um, see, yeah, remote, that's from previous trading when I was in another place in the forge doing mining stuff and I wanted to trade up here meanwhile. That's uh, pretty handy if you're doing that, your staging training is not needed. Same with procurement um, and day trading and stuff. Generally, need remote one if you don't need them to stage trade. Um, yeah, that's about it for the skills. You can see a list here if you want, and there are more, but I don't have those yet. Now one more about the reprocessing. We got this one called scrap metal reprocessing and it is really not fun to get a hold of because you need both reprocessing efficiency and metallurgy at level 5 and unless you are researching you don't even have metallurgy and if you're only trading you won't have reprocessing efficiency either so that is going to take a long time um, and it's only you can get up to 10% extra profit on reprocessing so it's only if you uh, intend to to reprocess for a long time that is going to be worth getting uh, but that's about it that's all you need you need the trading skills minus the remote ones if you're staying trading you need a spaceship um, industrial 
I believe I have the Galanta because it had the most space, I think. And all you need is Spaceship Command 3, so that's pretty easy to get in a few hours. And you're settled. You can start trading. Um, really, really low skill requirement compared to the amount of money you can make. Uh, when I was really active as a trader, you could even easily make, I don't know, 100 million a day. That might not sound li a l like a lot compared to 50 million an hour missioning or uh, 180 million ma an hour uh, doing what are they called? My memory is full this today, sorry about that. Doing incursions, but you have to keep in mind that all you have to do is log on perhaps three or four times a day, depending on how much stuff you want. Go down your list one by one. Of stuff, go and check. Am I on top? Am I on top? Am I on top? And then modify your orders. That is basically all you have to do. Just set up a bunch of orders and stuff you want. Uh, as I said, I'm shutting down now, so I don't barely have half my orders up. Um, but check the list three, four times a day, and you're golden. You'll be making money. You'll be making tens of million per day, depending on how much money you have to throw into it to begin with. Um, so yeah, it's nice to have an ult for this. If you train, that's another thing. Last thing, I believe. This is a thing that you can have use a second character on one account for, because as you can see, I have barely a million here, and that is all you really need. You don't need much more than that. Uh, one million skill point character alt in your account that you log into four times a day. You can have it on your main account and you won't really notice because 1 million skill points is not something that will take a month to get. So it's uh, well worth it. Yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions uh, regarding this video, anything you're confused about, anything I didn't explain properly, feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, I would say you can ask me anything about EVE, but EVE is a freaking big game and I can't answer every question, although I have been around since 2009, so I can answer a few. Um, yeah, have fun trading, reprocessing, and generally making a lot of money for very little work. See ya!